Star Citizen is expanding out its gameplay. Bounty Hunting 2.0 is something that we should see in the next year, but the Persistent Universe needs better PvP, piracy, bounty hunting gameplay, anti-griefing measures, and support for that. There is regular drama and discontent in the community about this topic. We are going to talk about the short and long-term solutions and features that are coming to the game, as well as look at a Reddit post that looks at some solutions that could break the game's code of conduct, and is it fair that it does? Let's jump into a Reddit post. Getting sick and tired of griefers. The original poster says, Possibly just me ranting to myself whilst everyone else disagrees, but I'm getting really fed up with people that show up to where you are, don't want money to go away or for you to turn out your pockets, but just rock up, blow up your ship, and then kill you. Like, come on, dude. That's not gameplay. That's just being an expletive. Piracy is holding people for goods or ransom or wanting a payment to leave you alone, but it's none of that. Then the post tails off into some profanity. But so there is a long running piracy versus griefing debate. What precisely constitutes legitimate gameplay versus what is griefing? I always count anything that doesn't have me repeatedly being blown up in succession by a player or group that is targeting just me as sort of fine. Although, yeah, if there's sort of bullying involved where it's clearly the targeting of a single player or a small group of players, preventing them from playing the game, going outside of the game to sort of uh, annoy and upset them. That can certainly be griefing as well. But there, there are lots of other edge cases too. I do think one of the major problems is that it's hard to define what griefing is with someone all agreeing on that definition. But yeah, when players are camping areas or just being random murder hobos, that can sometimes be seen as griefing to some. I'd like to see things deemed actual griefing as impossible or hard to do in game. That's what I want. I want there to be systems to prevent that and it to be very clear cut when something is griefing. But that is another conversation. There are ways to deal with these players in game to some extent, and that's bounty hunting. Those bounty hunters will go and attack and hunt those players down, hopefully reducing their activities, slowing them down, sending them to prison. In that same thread, I saw some players wanting to go after these criminal players or these griefers and like put contracts out on them more permanently hunting them down server to server. A Reddit user responded to those calls to action saying, just an FYI, because I've seen people get their accounts suspended for this, um, but it is against Cloud Imperium's terms of service to hunt people server to server, i.e. if you're joining specific servers just to kill one player in particular. Fully support the idea of taking out the trash, but I figured I'd point that out. And they are correct. You shouldn't actively hunt a particular player from server to server, as it does state in the game's rules of conduct, um, which outlines inappropriate behavior and uh, things that you shouldn't do in the game um, that can then get you penalized and eventually potentially banned. Stream sniping, pad ramming, or utilizing bugs and exploits to grief or continually harass others is against that rules of conduct. So hunting down a player, putting a more permanent contract on their head would be seen as continuously harassing. This has further annoyed some players as this somewhat protects pirates and the more extreme version of this and, and griefers from some retribution. Attack a load of people on a server, then server jump. If you want, boom, I don't have to deal with it. That said, obviously griefing is also against the rules, but griefing is often confused with legitimate gameplay and sometimes someone attacking you will be seen as griefing by a player because they're not in the mood, they didn't expect it, or they're just angered by the encounter. Now, a lot of that is just poor signposting and some players just not knowing what they're getting themselves into or expecting an area to be safe. You can press charges on players that kill you, and there is a law system that protects against unlawful attack, or at least uh, will have the aggressor get a criminal rating and be attackable. However, when the comma rays are turned off in an area or you're not in range of those, then crimes aren't registered, and some of this is intentional gameplay, admittedly. Cloud Imperium want PvP. They want piracy, bounty hunting, threat, risk versus reward, and for players to uh, hire and bring escorts or be sneaky sneaky. For me, it comes down to there not being enough game enforced systems and gameplay to properly support piracy and PvP currently. It's easy to get out of prisons. 
piracy doesn't actually pay out money, so you can't really loot other ships properly. They just explode, and a lot of the cargo is often lost. Not always. I mean, some of it's, um, it's sort of salvageable, reclaimable. Um, so why attack and pirate in the first place? A lot of people do want to just have some free-form murder piracy gameplay fun or want to act out, play out, what pirate gameplay would be. B. There are bugs that mean that you can get a crime stat for attacking criminals, so you get a crime stat which you maybe shouldn't, which is really annoying. It's not clear a lot of the time who is a potential threat or attacker, and sometimes there are bugs that just go, well, is this guy actually attacking me? Oh no, I'm dead. That's a bit annoying. I wish I knew. Um, there are easy, low effort ways of beating others as well, like um, A2, the Hercules, the big big old bomber just dive bombing with with reckless abandon at a jump town location so that said that can be fun for a lot of people because it's sort of like you've got an area locked down and someone just comes in and ruins that um that can be fun for a lot of people there are ways of mitigating that as well in some of these situations so um you can sort of um at jump town especially you can have uh, forces in place to try and deal with that. You can have um, your sort of ships parked in more, more sporadic and um, sort of wider area. A lot of it comes down to boredom and gameplay not being satisfying for players that want to do piracy and want to do PvP. That's not been supported in a way that uh, these players want. And if Clan Imperium solves some of these, then Star Citizen would be all the better for it. I do want a more carrot and stick approach personally, give players more to do with PvP, focus them in certain areas, make criminal and aggressive actions high risk versus reward, make it harder to leave prison so it actually slows down players um, going sort of full murder hobo and generally um, sort of more features that support more legitimate bounty hunting piracy and outlaw gameplay. Now. We do have some gameplay coming soon in Alpha 3.18, which should actually help a lot. There are new prison updates, arguably rewarding players in prison with more things to do, but it may well make it harder to get out and gain merits, um, so it depends on what they sort of do for a a bit of a balance here there are going to be more dangers in prisons and more pvp for players to do more reasons to fight because you can loot each other and that sort of stuff and there's going to be npcs in the mines there's going to be uh, more missions and reasons to bring loot out of the mines and bring that into the prison proper there are various law updates coming as well some are there to help reduce accidental crime stats so also like um if you get up to a crime stat two then you're not actually a hostile criminal. You actually will be able to land and pay off your fees, um, your fines, uh, to remove that crime stat, which I actually think is pretty good. But there could certainly be some other law updates to improve unexpected PvP. There are changes coming to Security Post Korea that will make it a hot point for PvP and criminal versus bounty hunter activity. High risk and reward. And you'll be able to dispense some very valuable loot, but bounty hunters will get missions to come deal with you. If you're at Security Post Korea, Security Post Korea also has like security and um, presence now and it's going to be the only place to hack down your criminal ratings so I think that actually might go a long way of giving players a lot of gameplay to do. The cargo refactor will make commodities more interactable and stealable from other players ships this could somewhat help making piracy more legitimate though other mechanics really need to come online but I suppose you could negotiate with a player to say look I want your loots give me your loots or boom boom. Uh, we also know that salvage and persistent entity streaming will mean that ships carcasses will be left behind so what does that mean about the destroyed ships cargo how exactly will that be handled in that, that sort of system we'll have to wait until we have 3.18 in our hands i suppose beyond that though so beyond 3.18 sort of stuff that's coming next year um or well, that we're hoping that comes next year bounty hunting 2.0 that's currently being worked on now and into may 2023 this will enable players to track criminals via a mobile glass security app linked with distress beacons com arrays air traffic control systems cameras and npc informants this will rely on various new back-end tech including virtual ai the npc scheduler and security service you can probably expect this feature to also tweak various laws and new missions and make gameplay more satisfying for both criminals and bounty hunters so i'm hoping that maybe around this time we get the ability to capture bounties that would be kind of cool i suppose it's not essential but just more gameplay for these people that want to do it will mean that they're less bored that they've got um reasons to do that gameplay and people can know what to expect more often it's much more expected where this is going to happen and why it's going to happen the resource management feature that also is being worked on naturally leads to 
physical components and ships no longer having artificial health pools, which is important as we want ships to be disabled. Now, you could argue that Cloud Imperium could probably do that if they wanted, but they prefer not to sort of like have temporary systems in unless it's something that they're evolving. I don't know. It, it's There are reasons, but what this really allows for is boarding, and I really want to see that. I think that really makes piracy gameplay and a lot of other quite fun gameplay come to life. The addition of Pyro will help too with a clearer divide between what a secure-ish system is versus the Wild West system and uh, more focused gameplay in certain areas for players that want it. Like Pyro will be a den of pirates. Uh, I also want to see game-enforced long-term bounties that players and factions can set on someone. That is likely to be part of the reputation system as it expands out though. Persistence will apply to reputations and that will make career criminals and aggressive PvPers finding it hard to enter systems like Stanton. So you can go, it's unlikely that I'm gonna get this type of gameplay here because these sort of players will sort of be barred for entering because of the security presence at the gates or nearby. They're gonna find it very hard to, to live in these areas. Um, now obviously, they might exist around Grimhex and things like that, but it's still going to be a lot harder for them to exist than in places like Pyro, where there's not security forces there roaming. And there are going to be some star systems that are significantly more secure than Stanton. Something else worth mentioning, I want the reputation system to actually have factions, and even sort of like some of the very piratey criminal factions, disliking murder hobos, because they, they're not going to... Ninetales aren't going to like you if you're just attacking everyone randomly. Though maybe a murder hobo faction, um, just a mad one, uh, might be useful there and just go, you know what? Yeah, you are being crazy um, and this faction loves you for it. Boom, that's it for today for us sort of discussing bounty hunting version 2.0, criminal gameplay, what is griefing? And I'm sort of interested to know what you think on all that. Would you like a definition from Cloud Imperium on their website of exactly what griefing is? Like a very clear cut, what is code of conduct, what is bad, what is good, all that sort of stuff. Because um, it is vaguely written at the moment. Do you think it's even possible for them to um, have a really clear cut definition that would cover what it's supposed to cover? Or do you think that it's intentionally vague because it is hard to work out what players will do? What do you want to see added to bounty hunting gameplay? What kind of restrictions in gameplay do you want to see for criminals, pirates, and PvPers? Do you think that 3.18's content could go some of the way to solving some of the issues that players have with this? Whatever your thoughts, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. I'm Nord Catchem, and it's my mission to become a Nord Master. Oh no, it's Team Hacksaw! Hacksaw uses trackers and blocks your ability to go on websites like Netflix? and watch the content that you want to on Netflix, question mark. Go Nordichu. Nordichu uses nordvpn.com slash boardgamer. It is super effective. He beats Team Hacksaws and he becomes a NordVPN master, a Nordimon master. Fortunately, with NordVPN, you don't need to catch them all. You just need to get a subscription from nordvpn.com slash boardgamer. Links below. Every month we have a ship giveaway, and for September we're giving away three ships, one each to three different lucky winners, the Origin 100i, the 125a, and the 135c. Any of these solid starter ships will allow you just to jump in to Star Citizen and play right away. All you need to do is comment on any of my videos made during the month to be in for a chance of winning one of those. More details in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to further support the channel, consider using the join button under my videos or becoming a Patreon. Either way, you'll get access to some exclusive content and have more of a voice in shaping the channel. A huge thank you to anyone that already does that. You are amazing. I love you. Zin also is contractually obliged to love you. There is a link for donations and all that jazz in the description below as well if that is your preferred medium. It is super appreciated genuinely. Once again, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the verse.